Previously on Adventure Archives, Robbie told Thomas what he really thinks. What do you think of the mustache? I hate it. Thomas sparked conversation. Would you rather? <laughs> Robbie saw the natural beauty of the land. It's slightly smaller than I expected. And now they continue their journey west to meet up with Brian and Andrew in the wilderness on the shores of Northern California. So these canyonlands and arches, have those ever been on your radar? Yeah, as far as places to visit. Not super high, but I knew I've always wanted to make it out at some point. So I'm wondering, should we go to Moab first and then turn around and, and then do arches? What's gonna be in Moab? I don't, to town? I don't know, but I've heard just, oh, you gotta go to Moab, you gotta go to Moab. It's on me if it turns out to be a bust. It is. <laughs> This is the line to get into arches. Suddenly, I'm much less interested in going. I don't know about you. I think it's only a six hour drive from where I live. It's not going anywhere. I'm with you. But key learning, if you want to see arches, get there early in the morning. Okay. And arches is probably much more popular than canyon lands. But let's check out Moab, see if it's got anything. If anything, we might be able to get some food. I was just about to say that. So that it's not Isn't a total bust. It's be perfect. Food truck, truck park. park, one block off Main Street. Delicious, right. head friendly. All right. Okay. All right, maybe this wasn't a bust after all. Yeah. Anything stick out to you? Uh, a lot of decisions need to be made. <laughs> okay, Thomas is going to look around to see what's to eat. Nothing is particularly jumping out to me, but... Chinese food sounds good. Buffalo chicken sandwich. You know what I'm thinking about? No. Who gave us root beer floats in the Tetons? Oh, good old Black George. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm about to find out what we're getting ourselves into for the next five hours here. <gasps> Whoa. He asked me if I wanted it smothered. I said, absolutely. Look at that, a Hawaiian burger. Ooh. I'm definitely hungry when I had a whole root beer float before this, and I still want to eat this. I kept on asking Robbie, are you hungry, are you hungry? And you're like, no, no, no. <laughs> and the shorter his response has got with me, I'm like, we gotta find Robbie some food, otherwise I'm gonna die. <laughs> It is air conditioned in here and there's running water. Oh, come on, man. Can I just wash my hands? This is, this is top tier. A plus. A plus. All right. That bathroom yep. is air conditioned. <laughs> okay, get a little coffee for the road. Nuclear beam. This is the bigger. Thank you. Cheers to that. Damn, if only the donut place was open. All right. What is the temperature anyway? 93. Oh, that's good. Yo, Mosui, whoo! Okay, well, there's a new wrinkle. We just passed a sign that said, a reservation is required for arches. So we couldn't even gone if we wanted to. There are some first come first serves maybe, but. Well, a lot of the cars are coming out. Yeah. It doesn't seem here as long as the cold weather's bringing. So I've never been to Arches National Park, but my guess is the reason it's so popular is that the road takes you right to where you need to go. Unlike Canyonlands that has a lot of backcountry camping and 
lot of hiking like into the canyon itself. This is less that and more like photo op, photo op, photo op. Yeah. Now we have four hours and 46 minutes to the hotel. We can stop wherever we want on the way. Sierra is still alive. Not only is she alive, she's thriving. Yes. She is a thrive. on 70 now. Talk about a stark difference between the mountains we were in yesterday. I mean, there is just nothing here. Yeah. Just sand and sandstone and buttes. Yeah, when you look at the like a map of the country, you're like, oh man, yeah, there's so much space. But there's some of it that's very unlivable. Oh, there's a truck out there. Look at that dude. He must be having the time of his life. So when I was like in fifth grade, my family and I lived in China. We took a train at some point across, I don't know, just some remote part of China. And then looking out of the window, it looked just like this. Just this barren landscape that if the train broke down, it would feel like you were doomed. What's the train right there, too? So you saw a sign just a second ago that was a little disconcerting. It said, no services for the next 100 miles. What does that mean exactly? This means you can't even get gas for the next 100 miles? I think so. Wow. This looks really, wow. What is that one place we went to where we recreated the Star Trek Gorm fast Vasquez Rocks. <laughs> yeah. This is like Vasquez Rocks, except blown up. This, oh man, it's on massive. Wow. But wow, these are massive rocks, man. What an incredible landscape. Don't even know that things like this exist. The earth keeps surprising me, which is probably shows my naivete. Did you know places like this existed? <laughs> Not this one, that's for sure. I know there's a canyon back there that you can go into and you can hike. And there's an arch and then there's some petroglyphs in there too. It's like normally when you see stuff like this, it's a mountain, but these are just rocks. I know a mountain is rocks too, but these are just like, they look like big rocks that were just put in the ground. I'm gonna go see what this guy is selling. I'm very curious. So this is called the San Rafael Reef, and apparently it's just something to do with the plates of the earth just poof, jutting out. So they're saying it's like a fault, kind of like going like this. Yeah, apparently they used to call it the Silent City, I guess the people of the Green River, according to those signs. And this road going through here, that was built in the 70s, but before that, almost nobody went through this and everybody just had to detour like 20 miles north. Wow, I'm excited to go through this. Yeah, this is super cool. Cool, let's, let's go. go. Through.
dragon? I don't know. I guess it kind of looks like it could be a I dragon. I kind of see the dragon there. The sign just says the same thing the other sign said. Man, that is a canyon. <laughs> yes, it is. Good God. The sign said that nobody but the most intrepid explorers dared go through here, and I can see why. There's no way you could survive. <laughs> There's no way I could survive, that's for sure. You are here. Which direction is which? I think that's the San Rafael Reef. Which would be that, I suppose. Okay, well, it doesn't explain exactly what the Black Dragon Canyon is, but incredible landscape. This is the type of thing that I only thought was in video games. I didn't realize it was in real life. And I've been to a lot of really cool places, but somehow these keep surprising me. I don't understand. That is amazing. Ooh, uh, okay, I'm good to go. All right, good stop. Can't believe these buttes or these whatever they are. A butte from Butte. <sighs> okay, this is Ghost Rock. Maybe that's Ghost Rock. Or that. Or that. So according to that sign, this is where outlaws would hide. This would be a great hiding spot if you could survive. But I don't know if you would survive very long. I'm also pretty sure I would start to rethink my life choices if this is where I had to end up. Like, well, maybe it wasn't worth it. Beautiful, though. But none of the signs say what Ghost Rock is, so that is, that is. it could be any of these. Maybe it's that outcropping right here. Since the signs don't tell us what any of this stuff is, we should just name it ourselves. So. Thomas Rock, Robbie Bluff, Sierra Rock, Andrew Knob, Brian Bush. <laughs> <laughs> We've got trees coming up around us now. Oh, ah, yeah. That's something we haven't seen in a while. A little rain, too. This is Capitol Reef National Park, literally a national park I've never heard of. So, what constitutes a tree? <laughs> How tall does it have to be before it's a tree? Oh, I don't know. That's an Andrew question. <laughs> yeah, these are the first trees we've seen in a very long time. to Selena, which is the first gas station in a hundred miles. And the question is, how expensive is this gas gonna be? You say this is, do I see a four? 4.95, oh, oh my goodness. that's not bad at all. I mean, I guess maybe there's rules against doing that. 
No, there's not. Because when we were in Death Canyon, it was like six dollars for for gas four wow. years ago. I need some like entertainment food or something, but I don't know what that would be. Maybe yeah. like some. Uh... We've got some food in the back too. Oh, do you have fruit? Welch's fruit chew things? No, I have dried fruit. You don't have any gummies? No. Try for it. Actually, I might in there. Well, go ahead and uh, pop your thing. I'll fill it up, you know. Yeah, yeah no, thank check. you. Uh, oh. We got dried strawberries. Yeah, you stri there should be strawberries and raspberries. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh yeah. Freeze dried strawberry, man. Yeah, give me a handful. There's one. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of 70. We've driven now most of 70. <laughs> with the luxury hotel. It is definitely 100 degrees out there. Holy cow. Oh, you happy dog? One four, almost there. One six, one one seven. There we go. Oh, 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 oops, here. Oh. What are you doing? Oh, very nice. Yes. She's a good girl. Oh, she's a girl, right. <laughs> <laughs> the name's Sierra? Well, just like, you know, people always say, like, good boy dogs, you know? Like, good boy. And I was like, oh, yeah. Sierra! Gotta check out this place, make sure it's all good. Oh, lordy. I feel like we should have Thomas pick out the hotel every time. We will never have a bad hotel experience if Thomas is picking it out. Look at this. Come on, I'm gonna check my makeup. Come on, man. Oh, that's not pretty. <laughs> you know I love a good hotel breakfast. Woo, it's hot. Okay, we're gonna go have dinner at Black Bear Diner. Uh, what trip was it that we went there? It was uh, Big Sur. Oh, Big Sur, that's right, that's right. I love <laughs> Have you ever used a serrated knife before? And this place is special to you for some reason? When I would go up into the um, Central Valley of California to either for Yosemite or just to go hiking in the Sierras, I'd stop by uh, Black Bear Diner because it was right there outside the mountains. Oh, good girl. Oh, not back in the car again. Why? I hear Sierras gasps. <laughs> Sierras, like, why? <laughs> Back there. 
nostalgic place. This is a nice place. I can see why you're nostalgic about it. It's kind of like Bob Evans, just more mountainy. Mm, yep. It's like West Coast Mountain. There's a bear behind you. I think I'm gonna fall asleep very, <laughs> very early tonight. This in a nice, comfy bed. Really massive. I didn't need pancake. I made a huge mistake. <laughs> Save it for tomorrow. Oh, Thomas is helping me finish it. Wow, you polished off the wall, man. I was hungry. Oh, he's gonna finish my salad, too. <laughs> Where do you store that food, man? Somewhere. That was entirely more food than I needed. Oh. Why did I do that to myself? Take my breath away. <laughs> oh. Okay, is that it for today, Thomas? Huh? Any last minute excursions? No, I just, it's good to have a bed with pillows. <laughs> so good. Okay, well, tomorrow we're off to LA. LA. We'll see you then. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please check out our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash adventure. We'll see you next time when the boys finally arrive in California. Sipix Prime cast a great shadow, but the fallen are crafty. We'll find a way to come back. They always do. Mm. I don't know, you're recording. Really important. Oh. Hey, where, where did your hemorrhoid donut go? Starbucks up ahead. Hold on. Hold on. Almost got it. Watch the <laughs> Okay, wait. That's the direct address comma. If you put here for you, comma, Tommy, that's a direct address towards you. And you are Tommy. But What? I've been sitting here trying so many different stupid accents, and uh, I'm gonna keep doing them because it's fun. Previously on Adventure Archives. 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 Previously on Adventure Archives.